Hello, I'm Tina White, and I am here today with Allie Donlin, who is the Development Director at Pisca Legal. Allie, how are you? I'm so good. Thank you, Tina. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing fantastic. It's um, going to go visit my parents today, see how they're doing. Oh, good. Um, Allie, tell me, at Pisca Legal, uh, you've got a long record of service to the community, but these are unusual times. What are you seeing in the community uh, and, and what's Pisca Legal doing to address that? Right. So Pisca Legal, just for those that don't know, we are a nonprofit that provides legal assistance and advocacy to people who are struggling to make ends meet in Western North Carolina. And so um, our priority areas are housing, safety from abuse, access to health care and income security. Um, and so even before the pandemic, there were approximately 200,000 people in our region that were eligible for our services. And all of those four areas that I mentioned have been severely impacted by the pandemic. So we're seeing increased need in kind of all of our program areas. Um, specifically, ever since mid-March, we pivot, pivoted to helping people navigate unemployment insurance. So that system was just overwhelmed with requests and there are lots of denials and people needing help navigating that. So we had attorneys working on that. Um, we continue to show up in court that we're still open for emergency proceedings. So for domestic violence survivors, still showing up there. And right now we're preparing for a floodgate of eviction cases. So a lot of people still aren't back to work. And when the federal unemployment benefits ended in end of July, um, that meant a lot of people were kind of without any sort of safety net. And so um, just that first week of August, we had over 1800 calls to our front desk asking for help. Um, and so we're continuing to see that increased need um, as people, you know, can't pay their rent and, and might not have other options of places to go. So, um, so we have both our staff attorneys and volunteer attorneys just helping um, people navigate a lot of different areas right now. Okay, wow. That's, um, what should, if someone feels they need your services, what's the best way to reach out to you? Yeah, so they can, um, the first step is to either give us a call or to go online and fill out an application. And that helps us determine um, what their, the situation is and how we might be able to help. So our website is pisca.legal.org. And right at the top of there, there's an apply now button. And that could be um, the easiest way for folks to get in touch with us if they need our services. Okay, great. All right, so you're doing all this great work. You need resources. I understand that you have a fundraiser coming up Thursday and a really neat partnership with a local partner. Why don't you tell me more about that? Yes, Tina, that's right. So we are asking the community to help us with our response so that we can continue to meet the need and kind of be prepared for the overwhelming need that's going to be coming. Um, and so we organized a giving day. Um, it's kind of our version of, of Giving Tuesday, you know, which happens um, every year in the holiday season. But this is um, specific for us, and it's just a day that we can come together, concentrate people's efforts um, for an online giving day. And this year we are partnering with ABIPA. Um, and how that came about is we were doing the planning for this giving day in early June. We actually heard um, a great lesson through Facebook Live from local consultant Aisha Adams, who, um, and she was saying, she was talking about five concrete ways that organizations or businesses or individuals could show up for people of color um, and people of color led organizations. And one of the things she said was that um, you could share resources. So we are thinking about that. And one of the resources we're lucky to have at Pisca Legal is human capital and um, technology, like our online giving page and things like that. And so we reached out to ABIPA and said, you know, are you interested in partnering with us? Here's what we could bring to the table. Here's what a giving day looks like. And um, Joanna, the executive director over there, was excited about that possibility because she was saying as the only um, you know, the only full-time staff member at ABIPA, she just doesn't have the time. Oh. Let me, I just wanted to, for people who don't know, um, yes. what is ABIPA? <laughs> yeah, good point. Um, ABIPA stands for Asheville Buncombe Institute for Parity Achievement. 
And so they are focused on addressing the um, disparities that exist for African Americans and people of color in Buncombe County, specifically around health outcomes, as well as economic and, and other areas. So their, um, their goal is parity achievement. So to get, you know, to focus on that. And so there's a lot of overlaps between our work. Um, and, and so, so this time for the first time for our giving day, we are partnering with another organization, ABIPA. Um, and so proceeds will be split equally between Pisca Legal and ABIPA to focus on, to further both of our missions. Um, so we're coming together. The online giving day is taking place on Thursday, August 27th. And it will be um, a lot online, so we'll be sharing messages through our e-newsletter, through our social media channels. Um, we'll be doing a Facebook Live at 10 o'clock on Thursday, where Joanna will have a conversation with Shannon Cornelius, who is Fiscal Legal's Health Justice Program Director, talking about access to health care and what barriers exist and, and how COVID-19 has affected um, both organizations and what we're doing to respond. And you'll be giving, supplying me with the links that we can, we can put right below this. Yeah, yeah. So if people want to contribute, I'll send you the link. It's piscalegal.org slash giving day. We'll take you directly to that page. And something that's really exciting about the giving day is that we've had two local families come forward with a match. And so every donation will be matched dollar for dollar up to $4,000 on Thursday, August 27th. Um, and like I said, it will be split equally between Pisca Legal and ABIPA, um, just because I think by coming together, we can be stronger, you know? So I'm excited about the collaboration and, and what we can do together. That is fantastic. Do you do many of these partnerships? Actually, this is, you know, we definitely have a lot of partnering organizations. You know, there's a lot of um, nonprofits in town that we work with closely, but this kind of um, specific fundraising collaboration is, is a first for us. Um, and so I'm excited to see what we could do in the future. That's, that's neat. I, I ask because one of the things I've noticed, one of the silver linings of COVID, I've seen more and more 501c3s partnering with each other and, and collaborating in a way that I, to be honest, didn't see when I first arrived in Asheville. Are you seeing that difference? You know, I think, I think, the, I think that is a silver lining, like you said, that there's more potential or thinking about being creative and collaborating. Um, and yeah, I think people are just seeing that we need to come together as a community because it's such an unprecedented situation that no one entity, no one organization can address it on their own, you know? So there's really um, opportunity to, to work together. Well, with help, this will produce some partnerships and friendships that endure past COVID. Yes, I hope so. Allie, thank you so much for your time and best of luck on Thursday. We will help get the word out. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Tina.